Hi, welcome to another Blend Off Online. I'm Avril and this is... I'm Emma Bird. Hello Emma, thank you so much for joining today. So we're going to be doing some whiskey tasting. We're going to have a little bit of chat about um, what, what we're inspired by to, with the whiskey and then we're going to do a scene for you. So there we go. So Emma, shall we, yes. get, shall we get going with our whiskey? Yes. I poured myself a rather large measure, with, on, you know, not not meaning to, but... Oh, no worries at all. I have a little smell, see what sort of... Mmm. Uh, it's very peaty, mine. You've got a peaty sort of flavour yeah. for it. Mine is, uh, mm. mine's very fruity. Oh! Very fruity. Um, I'm going to write down some some notes. It always helps me to write down some, taste some notes. Really. You know what it smells like, tastes like is, um, a, a, you know, like when you're walking in a, in a damp woodland or damp forest. Yeah. And um, maybe it's autumnal and there's like leaf mold. So there's like da wet, big, big, big leaves that have fallen on the woodland floor and they're damp. And um, it smells very, yeah, very kind of like, that's what it tastes like is very like, oh, this is, you know, this is a damp autumnal woodland. Oh, lovely. Yeah. 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 This one, this is um yeah this kind of reminds me a little bit of the sort of uh oh what are they called um you know those sort of like ice creamy things you used to get with the wafers and then you'd have like um was it um it was a soft um yeah let's call them in the middle um sort of uh, marshmallowy that's what yeah. it kind of reminds me of <laughs> a little bit so you know some of the flavors that are coming through some of the sweetness of that and there's a little bit of dryness there as well um yeah that kind of reminds me of these sort of like oh, those old sort of I, I haven't had them for years these like yeah. old sort of like wedged ice creams yeah in between and between. Then, yeah, with the, yeah with a little bit of marshmallow you had like a soft yeah that's what this kind of reminds me of mm. it's a nice flavor that's that's oh. more like a summer's uh what ice cream those ice cream wafer things mm. make me think of like a day trip to blackpool in the summer you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah lovely the faded lovely. glamour of a seaside town <laughs> yeah yeah it does it does kind of have yeah it's, it's quite nostalgic this one sometimes i get when i'm trying them i get very nostalgic about some of the flavors that i come up with and other times it's uh yeah they're they're sort of they're very sort of like here and now and i feel very sort of present um with the flavors but that yeah this has got a real uh it's a real sort of uh kind of earthy grounded as well mm. uh, as well uh sort of flavors coming through you've got your sort of sort of yeah i mean because it, it's a sherry cask i think this one so you get like you get sort of like sort of richer flavors coming through with this as well. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like um, more stone fruits and stuff like that. A little bit sort of tobacco-y. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then um, ice cream wafers from the past. <laughs> That's what's amazing about whiskey. There's, just, there's so many things wow. going, going on in your mouth. The more you, and then you one taste and you have another taste, it can really. It changes. Up. Like it, it feels yeah. like it, it's different every time. Not not always like hundred percent different, but there's like subtleties. Yeah, definitely. Every time, yeah. What yeah. else do you sort of think you can get from it? Mine just makes me think of like I don't know. I just think of like little woodland fairies and elves that are just like I don't know. There's something very. There's something very. Yeah, underground, damp, not underground, but just like ground level dampness, but not in a ho horrible way. It's more like, yeah, in a kind of homey way, homey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I get what you're saying. But yeah, that sort of home, that home feel of, I guess that's another sort of grounding or, um, 
a safety sort of thing you could feel as well I guess that sort of um, familiarity mm. or something yeah comforting familiarity yeah this feels very um yeah it's very like a blanket yeah yeah mm. should we do a scene yeah <laughs> do a scene I know this is just oh god it's incredible I can't believe that we're doing this this is just so mental I feel like I'm a kid again I know I feel a bit like that it's like yeah. I don't think anyone knows it's here like I just I was walking through the you know the woods that behind our house I was just walking through the woods the other day and I just came across like this hatch and it was it's like an old pallet door hatch and i was just so curious and i just at the base of the tree just pulled this hatch open and um and here we are inside this beautiful beach it, it's like but why is it here i know i know why is it here people are going to come with guns any minute and be like get out this is, you know, this is for the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, maybe it is like, maybe it's like a kind of, yeah, there's some kind of a catastrophe nut job out there. And the, this, this hutch or with this tree, empty tree bark, I don't know, this inner tree trunk is his survival bunker. Oh, I know, I know. It's so bizarre because you'd think, you know, you'd have like some sort of high tech bunker and he's like, no, no, I'm just going to hollow out a tree, yeah. go down, bar underground a bit. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Or maybe we've just stolen a kid's tree bunker. <laughs> yeah, a kid's den. Um, we got well, really, I really wanted to show it to you because I knew you'd appreciate it. I mean, the height yeah. of this beach is in incredible. I know, there's quite a beautiful echo. Echo. <laughs> You know what? I have to be honest. I mean, I you, you know you're my best friend, and so I know Janet from that. You would never, you would never lie to me, obviously. But I just, if I hadn't come to see this for myself, I would be like, she's been having medication or something. Yeah, <laughs> making it up. Um, I, I, yeah. Well, no. I um. Do you remember when we were kids though? Like in the school, and we used to go to the far end of the field. And they just cut the grass, you know, those summer days, they just cut the grass and we used to bury ourselves in these mounds of grass. Um, it kind of makes me think like that. Like, I, you know, we, we were always into like, yeah, burying ourselves in nature. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I remember that. Oh my God. Do you remember you nearly got stuck once? <gasps> yes, yes, I do. But, I, but part of me was thinking, uh, I think that was just, I think I was just hoping that I was stuck because I was trying to get out of maths. Because do you remember Mr. Oh, Mr. Gosling, the maths teacher? Eesh. Oh, he was just awful. <sighs> Nightmare. No, no. Well, I don't. I don't blame you for trying to get out of maths. Yeah. I, I did bring. I did bring a a, a, a a wee dram. Yeah. No. No. I, I did as well. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hoo -hoo. Warming. Well, I'll be, be able to breathe fire soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I was, I just wanted to come somewhere really nice for me and you just to kind of chill, but also uh, I've got this thing that I need to, to let you know. Oh, go on. Yeah. So I've been offered the promotion um, and, and as you know, it's something that I really, really want, but it's, it's, 250 miles north of where we are just now near near yorkshire the yorkshire day precise as well i mean that's oh yeah i've already looked at the map yeah yeah i mean what am i thinking i mean this is amazing news and i'm really really pleased for you that's amazing news yeah <sighs> thanks i mean this is what you wanted yeah 
yeah, I've been working my ass off in that. You office. have, yeah. I mean, some of the Saturday nights I've been like, where is she? Working. <laughs> working. Yeah, so it was kind of like the promotion came up and all of that. And I just, I didn't, I didn't sort of say anything because I just, well, partly because I thought, well, nothing will come of it. And then I thought, um, and then I got, I got it. And then I just was putting off telling you because we're so, I don't know, you're my best mate. And I was just like, the idea of not living around the corner from you is just like, ugh. Oh, yeah. Look, I mean, you like it's just it's so it's so good that you, you know I can't not be happy for you you know it's just I mean it's obviously um strange that you're gonna no longer be about but um it's you know it's I'm pleased for you you know that's really cool yeah. you're gonna get to go and do something you really want to do and yeah. um uh yeah uh and you know what's 250 miles to be precise it's not i mean it's yeah. not, not you know i mean can come up i could come up um yeah i could come up you know when i'm not hanging out in the tree house in the tree in the tree burrow <laughs> yeah tree hollow god i hope it's not like a big rabbit because i'm petrified of those things imagine if it was a big rabbit that lived in here she came in with a massive carrot and then just sort of like, <laughs> me. <laughs> like the rabbit from Donnie Darko. Yeah, yeah. No, don't. We can't. can't I'll have nightmares tonight. <laughs> That's a nightmare, rabbit. No, I think this is a friendly tree. This is a beautiful yeah. beach. It's 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 a a little hollow for you to come to. Um, I'll come and visit you. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna take some. It's gonna get, you know, some used to. I mean, and you'll be, you'll you'll be like excited and yeah. new things to do. Thing is, I don't know anyone up there. Oh, well, <sighs> yeah. Look, you'll make friends. I mean, you're you're so personable. You're of course you'll make friends. You'll make loads of friends. No, but you're my tree buddy. You're like. I need to find somebody that's uh, that I can find a hollow in a tree with and kind of, you know, chat and drink whiskey and you know. <laughs> I need a best buddy. God, best buddy. Don't need my yeah. No, I don't mean to replace you, obviously. Like No. No, because I will hunt them down and then I'll yeah. bring a big rabbit and impale them. Yes. With a big carrot. <laughs> yeah. I'll try and steal you. <laughs> yeah you know it's good i mean you should go and leave this place it's not yeah. a bad place but you know people need to move on don't they yeah we grew up here. we've been here for blooming 30 odd years <laughs> i wonder i wonder what happened to the the kids that made this mm if they moved on too yeah i'm not moving on no I'm... no 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 i mean i'm moving away but i'm not moving on it, it you know or maybe i am i know i'm not i'm not moving on and forgetting everything i mean i'm not i'm not like i mean me and you gosh we go way back and we've had so many adventures. I'm not, I'm not moving on. I'm just moving away. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe it'd be a nice opportunity for you to meet more people yourself, you know? I mean, we're close, but like, there's going to be other nice people out there as well that you can hang out with and be buddies with. Sure. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's it's about time that I, you know, found other friends and, you know, and um, I feel so comfy in here that that's probably not a good thing, is it? Yeah, I guess. Sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone and like, I mean, you're such a lovely person. I don't know. 
I mean, who wouldn't want to be your pal, you know? Well, exactly. You just need to find, you know, maybe there's bound to be somebody around here. I mean, Crawley's a big town. You're bound to find people, you know, like-minded. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was, it's probably gone now. I don't know. It was a week ago. There was an opportunity. Um, you know, a job. It was it, it, it was a bit of a promotion. It wasn't like a massive promotion. Okay. I uh, turned it down. Oh. W- why? Because you just wasn't for you, or yeah, I mean, I guess just <sighs> didn't want you know to. Uh, move away from here but oh it don't matter now you know are it's, you saying that you had a, a promotion no, no, don't. that it would that would have meant that you had to move away and so you turned it down don't say it like that just, oh shit no it's, it's no, fine I've, no. I've accepted that's now i feel awful no, you shouldn't feel awful you shouldn't feel awful. I'm an idiot. Well, we agree on that. <laughs> but no, I mean... Oh, man. I wish you'd told me. Oh. No. Is, it, is it too late? I mean, can you get the promotion? Where? Where is it? Where was the... Further south. So, you know, maybe it'd be like 350 miles difference. Oh my gosh, is it? Oh no, oh no. Look, you know, I I should have just accepted it. I'm a coward and... Mm. You're not a coward. I just didn't want to leave you. God. It's cool, you know? I think... I I, I think you've got a lot to give to a lot of people. I mean, my God, I can't imagine not being around the corner from you. I can't imagine, like not sitting in a tree hollow with you. You, 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 you've, there's, you, there's bound to be other people, mates that you can make, who you can spend good times with. You're not a coward. You're shy, but you're not a coward. You're brilliant. So are you. Thanks. You're gonna make it. It's such an amazing opportunity and you've worked so hard. Yeah. If I get this promotion, I'll be able to afford a car. Well, I can already afford one because the promotion pays a lot. Oh my God, get a car. We're gonna gonna get gonna car. Road trips. <laughs> Road trips. We can find places in between. <gasps> yes. Well, I mean, halfway through, halfway is probably like Nottinghamshire, like not, the forest of Nottingham. Notting- Nottingham, what's it called? Oh my God, we can be Sherwood people. We can Sherwood. be. <laughs> yes, that is halfway between Crawley and North Yorks. So we can go oh to my God. the forest. Oh, I need to buy a Land Rover then. Oh, now you're pushing it. I mean, oh. I can, I mean, I can, I can shout you a car. I can't shout you a Land Rover. Oh well, you know, I was just thinking, you know, off off road. It's got to be tough. It's got to, or just a horse. I mean, that's the best thing for a forest. <laughs> you see, God, you make yeah. me laugh. This is why you're just brilliant. You'll have, there'll be no problem with you finding new pals. Look, you look at you. You're brilliant. 
you're so with are you. Me. You're brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to make that phone call. Okay. See you. See you. See you soon. Yeah. And that's our show. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for doing that, Emma. I oh, really, oh. really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that too. Yeah. Oh, these friends, let's hope they've got success and they buy Land Rovers and meet each other and play, play in Sherwood Forest. I think that's what's going to be happening. <laughs> Just like that, I was getting super excited about the idea of meeting halfway at Sherwood Forest. I was like, yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like really into it. Yeah, all, all the trees that you can find in Sherwood Forest. I know. We probably have like hollowed out trees and whatnot absolutely absolutely so thank you so much for doing that and for drinking some whiskey with me we'll say goodbye to everybody and i'll stop the recording thanks very much bye bye thank you.